Well, I got a, a call a while back from the New York City Department of Health. They said, you know, chocolate milk has twice the sugar of white milk. What are your thoughts about banning chocolate milk from schools? So we did this really cool study in, in Oregon. In fact, it just came out yesterday. And, and uh, Brooks has done a great job kind of promoting this. Brooks Ballard has been doing a great things promoting this for the center. We were on Fox News this morning talking about it. But we went to uh, 11 schools, 11, we moved a group into uh, or Eugene, Oregon, studied 11 schools that ban chocolate milk. One of the things we find is there are, there are bad things that happen when you ban chocolate milk. Yeah. Yeah, it drops the sugar a little bit, but here's what happens. We found that kids took 9.9% .9 less milk overall. It's like, well, if I can't have chocolate milk, I don't want any milk. And those who did take white milk, those who chose white milk threw 29% more of it away. He said, you're making me take this? And worse than anything, I think, is that 7% of all the kids in the school stopped eating school lunches. And you say, well, you know, is that good or bad? It's bad. I mean, what's been found is that about three out of every four kids who eat a hot lunch or school lunch eat better than kids who bring their lunch from home. 